Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Android Guy. I'm your host HK. In today's video, I'll be basically showing you how to speed up your Android device without installing any software on it. You can speed up literally a lot your Android device by using these simple settings which are in the developer options. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So first of all guys, go to your device settings. So just over here, go to your device uh, setting and find out the developer options, which will be down somewhere here. So here's the developer options in my device. Now if your device does not have a developer option over here, do not worry. Uh, go over to about devices and scroll down uh, until you find the build number and tap on the build number five to seven times and the developer options will be activated. So go back and you'll see the developer options on top of about devices. So let's open up uh, the developer options. So let's, let's just go down and uh, the things which will be tweaking around today will be these. These are the settings which will be tweaking around with today. The windows animation scale, the transition animation scale and the animation duration scale. Now do not worry, I'll explain these further in the video. Now these are basically the speed of your device animation and the way your device uh, moves when you change from screen to screen. By default it will be 1x uh, in every Android device, that's the default speed. You can definitely tweak it up if I open up window animation scale and say if I change it to 5x which is slower. And if I open it again, you can see the speed, how slow it is. If I cancel it again, if I open it up again, I can see how slow that is. So if I change it to 0 0.5, and now you can see how snappy that is. It's very fast. Now the second one is transition animation scale. Now by default, again, it's 1. If I change it to, say, 10, and if I go back, you can see how slow that animation was. Now similarly, uh, if I open up again you can see how slow that animation is that can take up to years if you're using an android device so uh, if i open up it again and if i change it to 0 0.5 and let's try it out again and you can see how snappy that was but still there is some lag over here because again we are basically having a transition between two pages so it will be a little bit laggy over here but let's go back again and let's change it up again let's change it to uh, say 0 0.5 and animation scale also is the same 0.5 and now you can see uh, the entire system is too snappy okay changing between apps and everything is snappy and it's a little bit more faster because now the animations are slower uh, due to which the entire switching between apps and you know changing places would be uh, pretty much fast right you can also turn it off as you can see here is the turn off animation if you turn it off everything uh, the animation will stop you will not have any transition when you switch between things so it might look a little bit ugly but it will be very fast now because there is no animation so as you can see it's too snappy. There is no animation in between switching apps. As you can see, no animation at all. Everything switching without an animation, which means uh, you're not wasting that 0 0.05 seconds which you switch between apps. But I like them setting uh, to 0 0.5 uh, because then you have animation. It looks better. And on the other hand, it's also snappier. Now, the second thing which you'll be doing to speed up Android device is scroll down here. And over here, as you can see, once we reach to the app section over here, uh, we have three settings, which is do not keep activities, limit background processes and show ARN. Now we'll be using these both things over here. Now do not keep activities, this is turned off by default. Now if you turn it on, what will basically happen is that nothing will run in the background. As soon as you exit an app, that will be closed. Usually what happens with the Android operating system is when you exit an app, usually you do not have an exit button. We, we basically uh, hit the home button over here to, to exit an app. And once you exit an app, it's still running in the background as you can see over here. It's still running in the background. Similarly, games, apps and everything, uh, once you exit it, it's still running in the background. You'll have to enter the, the app drawer and then you have to scroll it uh, to remove it. But if you hit on do not keep activities, what will basically happen is this apps will not run in the background. Which can be good apps which will run in the background, things like Facebook, WhatsApp, they will also close, they will not notify you. So yeah, if you're using games and you know other uh, apps which you open, plug and play and then you quit, this is very useful. But if you're using background apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, I'll not recommend using this. Second one which is very useful is limit background process. Now what this basically means, it will limit the number of uh, apps or the number of programs running in the background. Especially guys, as you have already mentioned, Android is a multitasking operating system which makes life very easy. You can switch between apps, you can have one app running, you can switch to another app. Uh, this has been there since the starting and the basis of Android switching between apps and multitasking. Uh, now by default, in any Android device, you can run unlimited number of apps in the background. Unless your phone crashes or unless your RAM is full, you can run unlimited number of apps in the background. Uh, usually people who have smaller devices or people who have low on RAM memory, uh, they face this problem. One, if you're running say four to five apps like Chrome, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook and multiple apps in the background, your phone will crash 
uh, unless you close them manually and that can uh, and that kind of is a pain because you cannot uh, close the apps or you do not know which apps might crash so this is very useful uh, you can limit the number of apps running in the background uh, now as you can see over here the uh, standard limit is unlimited uh, if you hit on no background process then no apps will run in the background you, you will be only using one app at a time now similarly uh, if you set it to one uh, you will be using basically two apps in the background one in the background one you will be using live and if you set it to two processes the same thing and if you hit it to four processes which i recommend you there will be four apps running uh, in the processor at the same time usually people who have uh, dual core phones people who are low on memory or people who have a lot of apps on their android devices you know cluttering up their ram i recommend you to setting it to three or four do not set it uh, to one or do not set it to no background process then your android phone will be pretty much like old nokia phones and it's very useful because usually we do not use more than three apps or four apps at a time so this is very useful three or four do not set it to one that will be very harmful let's cancel that and uh, yeah that's about it guys that's the entire video about how to speed up your android device without installing any apps on it i hope this video was helpful if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up that will help me a lot and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit on the red subscribe button and join the android community uh, i'll be posting more videos on this subject so yeah stay subscribed for more videos like this comment something if you have any suggestions if you want something else uh, to be shown in this channel please put it down in the comments subscribe like and yeah that's about it i'm your host hk from the android guy signing up stay careful stay and growing peace